So if we can do that, now we can write one function in Go, but we can have an infinite number of actual implementations of it because the type can change. So if you've got a function that takes in a type parameter or a parameter of type t, where t is a type parameter, well, I can invent infinity types, right? So if I can invent infinity types, then that function can take in infinity different types of parameters, which means there are infinity different implementations of that function. And you know, the Go compiler is going to figure out how to define actual implementations that take in those actual types. I don't have to worry about that anymore, which means I don't have to generate code or anything like that. But now that we have this power, and this is immense amount of power, now we can start to have things like, say, take the map example. We can start to have things like a single function called map that can operate on a list of any type. Instead of before, we had to have a function called map that only could operate on a list of one type. And we had to repeat the implementation of map over and over and over again for all our different lists. Now the compiler just does that for us like magic. Thank you, Go team. <laughs> you all gave us this opportunity to save tons of generated code and that's amazing. So that's kind of where we're at now.